Now here's another situation you may encounter when doing termite management for your customers. Come down here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is a patio lab. Concrete goes over there about 12 feet, back over here about 12 feet. Goes out about 10 feet. It's got an expansion joint running right through here, right up to the corner of the brick veneer on this house. There's also a joint, a cold joint, between the slab and the house foundation. This is the kind of place you may get activity. Now, we would recommend that you put an advanced termite basin on that video and another one over there. And that's all you need to do. However, there are times when you really, right here, particularly you've got termite activity. How do you go about in concrete? Well, here's where a specialized bit comes in. This is a coring bit. This particular bit is from Stevenson Equipment in Atlanta, Georgia. This bit fits to a rotary hammer drill. Both Hilt and Walt and I'm manufacturer will work with it. Now, how do you use it? You core a three-inch core or asphalt on which one you have to deal with. Now, to remove the core from the concrete. There'll be a three inch hole there. Now you still have dirt below that, so you're going to still have to use your power drill and your other bit to remove that dirt because you want to get that hole. The reason for that is the new concrete bait station, part of the Adite bait. And you've the termite terrain <coughs> base and a termite inspection cartridge. And this will fit down in the hole in the concrete on down. It should go all the way in with this is above there. Then you can use one of the specialty caps that are made to seal that hole. These are aftermarket caps and available from distributors, several different types and varieties of them. This will give you an opportunity to a bait station near known termite activity when there is a soil to place the bait station in.